Welcome back to another episode of BC Life. On today's episode, I'm actually going to be talking about a metal detecting permission. I actually went and metal detected it this weekend, uh, along with uh, Silver Santa and Karen Dietz, which are two other YouTubers. Uh, a, few, a few weeks back, we were actually out um, knocking on doors and everything, uh, looking for maybe new metal detecting permissions. We saw this beautiful old home. Uh, we knocked on the door, no one answered or anything, so we ended up uh, handwriting a letter and we left it on the front door. A few days later, we ended up getting a call back uh, from the property owner. Uh, she ended up uh, giving us permission to metal detect it. A few, like a week or so later, uh, we ended up meeting the lady that owned the house. Well, it turns out the home was built in 1896. Well, the house was a uh, hotel at one point. It was a uh, tavern. Uh, at one time, it was a, uh, it was even a ball, like a ballroom at one point. The house has a lot of history. It's had a lot of uh, a lot of movement over the years. Um, there were pictures that she'd shown us. Uh, she t she got out this photo album, and it was uh, all all kinds of pictures of what the house looked like back in the back in the late 1800s, early 1900s. There were pictures of uh, the house being restored. The amount of work that went into the place. It's a beautiful home, but uh, we ended up metal detecting it, and one of the things we saw when we were looking at the pictures in the photo album is how much the ground's been turned and disturbed over the years. We didn't really find too much on the property, but there, there was definitely a lot of history. Um, we ended up uh, finding one good find. My dad ended up finding a good find. So, now... The front yard of the house uh, was built up over the years because anytime the road was being redone or being repaved or whatever, uh, the road was getting like uh, built up higher. So every time that road got built up, there were actually a few inches of dirt added to the front yard pillar dirt. So it's actually uh, the yard sits several uh, several feet higher than what it used to in the photographs, uh, meaning all the relics and everything that are in the ground are down deeper. Uh, we weren't able to get any. We're not able to get those signals too easily on our metal detector. So our best finds actually came from the back side of the house. And uh, I didn't really do too much recording. I ended up finding a lot of cans, a lot of modern trash. So even when I did try doing live digs, it, most of them were trash. So I ended up, like I said, me personally, I found one good item. I found. Well, the item I found, the uh, homeowner kept. Uh, the item my dad found, uh, we got to keep. So, here's the uh, wrap-up photos, and afterwards, uh, we ended up buying several coin collections from several different people. So, so, if you stick all the way through to the end, I got a uh, roll of Eisenhower dollars that were taped. Uh, you'll see what I found in that then. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll show you uh, uh, some pictures, the wrap-up, and then the coin roll hunt. Thank you. I ended up uh, buying a coin collection, well, me and my dad did. Uh, one of the rolls is a roll of uh, Eisenhower dollars, or large dollars. It's a silver dollar on the side. I don't know if these are actually going to be silver or if they're clad. And if they're going to be bicentennial, I'm going to maybe hope to find some uh, type ones in here. So let's get cracking. Oh, that was actually just laying on there. That's not too promising. It's a 78 under the tape.
Uh, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Hold up. Okay, they're all uncirculated. They got beautiful edges on them. But they're not the last year. Or, well, they are the last year. They're not, uh... They're not silver, though. See if there's anything weird in here. It's not often we get a full roll of uncirculated Eisenhower dollars. This is kind of neat. That one's got a lot of tarnish on it. Those are some other rolls that we got. Those ones, uh, those ones there all had a uh, pretty nice size in the hours and all. But those weren't taped like this one. I just thought this one could have uh, something cool in it.